hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this text reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin project files are available in the description so you can download it later and practice it along with them and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as main animation. Width is 1920, height 180, frame rate 30, duration is 30 seconds, and background color. I'm going to choose let's say white color and hit OK and hit OK. Choose grid and guide option and hit on title save action. Then I'll select my text tool and I'll type my text. I'll type oops, select this text and I'm going to choose black color. I'll type subscribe like this select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it like that select this text hit ctrl d to duplicate it select the second text press s again and let's increase the size all the way up to something like this and go to the character menu and i'm going to delete this fill and for the stroke width i'm going to choose 0.5 and stroke color choose this black color or instead of 0.5 let's use 0.1 looks good to me yeah make the quarter resolution to full resolution select this text press t for opacity and let's make this 40 like this now select both the text press p for position create one keyframe over here zoom in a little bit and go to around 1.10 frames and create another keyframe now go to the start select this first layer let's move this over here select this second layer and let's move this over here now select both the text press t for opacity create one keyframe hit u go over here create another keyframe go to the start and let's make the opacity of both the layers into zero now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move this over here like this so if we hit play we will get something like this now select those last keyframe and let's move to 20 frames and let's see what we are getting we are getting something like this now select this text and let's go to the start and hit page down button two times and select this and let's move this over here so we'll get something like this now right click new and create one null object let's bring this null object at the top select both the layers and make it apparent with this null one like this now after this i mean this keyframe we will select this null object press s for scaling option create one keyframe go to around 1.10 frames and let's make it 120 now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and let's move this handle over here so if we hit play we'll get something like this okay so press ctrl y to create one background layer i am going to choose white color hit ok hit ok and let's bring this over here and if you see our first animation is something like that now select this subscribe hit u let's go over here and right now what we can do we can select this subscribe uh, which is our second layer let's go over here go to the effect and presets and search for transform effect and we will apply the transform effect on the second layer and over here as you can see with the help of this position property we can add another position property and we can animate them also so over here i am going to move this subscribe text somewhere around over here now let's go to the start create one keyframe on the position hit u as you can see we are getting another position keyframe and let's go to around six seconds and let's move this somewhere over here so if you see this animation from the start again you will get this kind of animation oops uh, i haven't moved this yet sorry for that let's go to the six second and move this text over here so it will create keyframe so if you play we will get this text animation after this like this okay now hit ctrl a to select all of them and press ctrl shift c to pre it i'll call it as subscribe and hit ok 
like this now after that i'm going to go in effect and presets panel and i'll apply uh, for cc split so as you can see we are getting cc split over here so simply double click on it so we are getting these two anchor points and if i increase the split value we will get something like this so now what we are going to do uh, let's hide this one for now or instead of hiding this what we can do you can select this right click go to the reveal reveal layer in source project we have this over here simply select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it and double click to open this com and now we will select this text and hit ctrl t and let's call it as 2 by and for the last text i am going to type youtube like this now we will select both the layers we will go to the not both the layers we will select this to my text and we will choose white color for the text also we will select this youtube text and in the stroke i am going to choose white color for the stroke we will select this white solid and we will press ctrl shift y to open the solid settings and instead of white color i am going to choose black color hit ok hit ok okay so this is our subscribe text and i select this oops sorry go to the subscribe disk and you can hit ctrl k to open the project settings and i'll call it as 2 my and hit ok like this now go to main animation select this to my and hit move this over here and let's hide this for now now if you know that we have the subscribe layer and we have applied one effect called this split so let's run this animation first and now from this point i am going to create one keyframe at the split and this point a and this point b and hit u and let's go to around three second let's increase the split value somewhere around over here also move this anchor point over here and this anchor point over here like this you can also reduce this split value also enable this to my word let's go over here let's move this to my composition over here like this and now inside this i'm going to select uh, go inside this i'll select both the text and this null object and i'll move this over here so it will start to animate from here like this now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and this handle over here so let's see if you see think this animation is very slow you can select those keyframe and let's move them over here and you can run this animation from here select those keyframe go inside this let's select this graph again zoom in a little bit select this handle let's move this totally up to here select this handle let's move totally up to here okay now press ctrl my y to create one solid bg and let's call it as I think black solid looks good and let's move this over here press p for position create one keyframe over here and go to around 5 second or let's say 4.20 frames create another keyframe go to the start and now we will move this all the way up to here like this now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here and let's choose quarter resolution so if i see i'll get something like this so let's play from the start we have this this and then i'll move this somewhere around over here now we will add another text i'll select this text type sorry select this text let's delete this stroke and choose fill i'll type youtube channel now select this text let's increase the distance select this channel text and i'm going to choose semi bold version of this text select this 
Hit Control A and let's decrease the distance between these two words. Select this text. Let's hit Backspace and let's then enter OK. Press Control Alt Home. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and scale it like this. Now uh, select this text and hit Control D to duplicate it. Select this one and increase the scale like this. Yeah. Uh, now we will select our paint tool and we don't want any stroke so let's create this stroke we want oh sorry we don't want any fill i want stroke so let's delete this stroke i mean the fill and we will choose stroke and stroke width let's choose three or let's say one should be good let's hide this with big one for now and we will create one line like this select this press ctrl alt home so we'll get this kind of line if it is in focal position we'll get something like this now select this shape layer go to the add and go to the repeater so select this repeater go to the transform repeater one and let's move this let's choose 20 or let's say one and copies i'm going to choose 300 like this and let's move this over here now select this shape layer press f4 and i'm going to choose alpha map so we will get this kind of thing now select this text which is text which is this text and go to the character menu i don't want any fill i want stroke and i'm going to choose two or let's say four stroke width now select this text or i mean shape layer press t for opacity and let's make it 50 like this and select both of them and move them over here now choose quarter resolution so you get something like this and i'll move this over here now select both the text press p for position and let's move this over here create one keyframe over here then press t for opacity create one keyframe now hit u go to five seconds and create another keyframe on each and every one of them let's go to the start and let's move them totally up to here select both the keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move the sandal over here select this let's move the sandal over here and now select three, three of them move them over here then i select this one and let's move them over here and initial velocity should be zero not velocity but opacity also select this opacity keyframes copy select the shape hit ctrl v and let's make initial velocity z opacity zero and at last it should be 50 like this so if we play we will get something like this so let's see this animation from the start we'll get this and then this now we will select this shape which is our stroke i'll go to the start press p for position let's initially move this over here create one keyframe over here go few frame forwards and let's move this from here to here so if you see this animation from the start we will get something like this so yep this is how you can create trick text reveal animations for your videos so that's it for today's video we will see you in my next video So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then stay tuned.